Hey, what's up? My name is Mike, and recently I made this animation. And I made this animation really to celebrate reaching 6,000 subscribers on this channel. I wanted to make one for 5,000 because that feels like more of a, a number that is kind of like a milestone, but I was too late and then six rolled around. So I was like, let's stick with six. Six is still impressive. Anything above zero is honestly impressive. I'm not used to like really a ton of people following my work and liking it and all this kind of stuff. That's just alien to me, you know, like I'm used to just kind of sharing work and nobody caring. So, um, Anyway, the thing that I wanted to talk about in this video was the lights. And the lights was something that I've tried to do in other renders and other animations and stuff in the past. Could never really figure it out, but who came to save the day? Cartesian Caramel, I believe that's how you say their name. So I was really happy to see on their Gumroad, they released this, which is exactly what I need. I mean, look at that. So let me kind of show you what it looks like. It's, it's zero dollars. So you have no reason not to get it. You have no reason not to support them. So here's kind of like a, an example test scene that I set up. Uh, this is the basically the project file that came with those light trails. And then I just brought in the bike. Also, Cartesian Caramel made these uh, like lightning things, which I just had to also get. I don't know if it's free, but it, if it's not, it's probably super affordable. And I was just kind of testing it out on this and it looks so cool. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the light trail. So if you can see here, I have it parented to the bike. The way the light trail is set up, it's just a plane that is positioned where this is. So I'm gonna select the bike, let's say keyframe zero, put it here, and then just kind of move it forward like that. And I'll just make that vector. So if I play it, you can see that it's moving really slowly, but that's essentially the light trail. And what I have going on is when it starts, so if I move this around here, this color ramp on the shader is where um, just kind of like this, where it's like dying off versus where it's starting. So I have keyframed that because you can see when it starts, it's solid. I want it to be like solid and then fade over time, kind of like similar to the anime. So what I have it doing is I have it after a certain time here, after like 120 frames, you can see this is moving. So this is moving away. And it's like a softer, more gradient. Like it was, if it was still close, it would be solid. One thing I noticed is that in, in the anime, when the bikes leave, the colors are solid. So they're not like immediately faded. They're like really solid. And then they leave this trail and then the trail fades in after them. So that was, the, that was kind of the effect I was trying to replicate. Because when they leave, it's like the edge of the light is solid like that. It's, it's, it's like a hard edge. It's not a soft edge. And then after a couple seconds, after it's gone, it starts to fade and drag behind it. So that's why I have this gradient ramp keyframed here on this, um, on this asset. If you're familiar with geometry nodes, if you're familiar with shader editor, all that kind of stuff, it might, this might be a lot easier for you to understand. For me, it, it took a lot of like poking around and like guesswork of like what's happening. As long as you're starting it at the, at the start, uh, and then you just kind of like let it play out. It will work if you don't have it keyframed. So like, so if I delete the keyframes, nothing will play because there needs to be some kind of change in position from this place to that place to create the uh, streak in the first place. So yeah, so that's, I just wanted to make this really quick video to explain the effect and explain where I got it. And so now you can go get it yourself and play around with it and just support the creator who made this. I think they do really good work. Um, I'm gonna just like link all their stuff below because I always love when content is free. I'm a big supporter of that. Okay, cool. I hope that was helpful and um, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, see ya.